For decades, Hope Cuellar dealt with limited mobility in her left leg after injuring it in a car accident. But when her right hip started locking up, she became almost totally immobile. My good leg was my right leg. That one did all the work. And then, all of a sudden, one day I couldn't move it. It was very painful, scary, because my doctor took an x-ray and he said it was bone on bone. Steroid injections helped, but when they wore off, the pain returned. I couldn't walk. It just hurt so bad. I couldn't even leave my house unless I had help from somebody. It was really bad. I would walk and be afraid that at any moment I was going to freeze and I couldn't put my foot down. It was my pain, my hurt. Nobody knew, it was just me. For a year and a half, Hope prayed for healing. One day it came while she was watching the 700 Club. Someone else's problems with your right hip, yeah. it's just not moving properly and it's very painful and you walk with a limp, God is healing you. He's restoring, he's making everything new again. I jumped up and I said, that's me, that's me. Heal me, Jesus, please heal me in Jesus' name. I felt the warmth come in my arm all the way down and I was crying and I was crying and just accepting the healing. I knew it, I knew it, I felt it. The pain is all gone. I can walk and put one little foot in front of the other and that's all because of Jesus. He loves us. At her next appointment, Hope told her doctor she was done with steroid shots. I said, because Jesus healed me, I'm walking, she just smiled. Like, I don't know if they believe all that, but hey, God was there before they were. <laughs> it's true, and God will help anybody they ask because he loves us, and he is there to help us. We just have to ask and believe. Yeah, hear those words of hope from hope. All you have to do is ask and believe. God loves you. God sees you. He is our redeemer. He is our restorer. Whatever you are struggling with today, he can make it new. He can restore it. He can heal it. He doesn't heal just 50% where you're somewhat healed. No, you. he heals you 100%. You are made whole in the name of Jesus. Andrew and I are going to pray for you and your needs. But before we do, we just want to continue to encourage your faith with some more amazing miracle testimonies. This is Megan on YouTube. And she said, for the last few months, I've been going through a custody battle for my kids. I felt hopeless. Then I was watching a story on your YouTube channel. When Andrew began to pray, he described a war raging and encouraged viewers with Exodus 14, 14 and to be still. I claimed that word and gave my situation over to God. Two days later, the court system released my children into my custody. Thank you, Lord. That's amazing. I'm so glad to hear from Megan. I remember that word. Yeah. And it was very unusual. That's awesome. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh, here's a viewer on Instagram who stated, I was watching your show August 16th when the host began to pray for someone with arthritis. I've had arthritis for years. I claim this word and the Lord healed me. Amen. All Amen. Right. That well, is let's... wonderful news. Ashley, can you, why don't you start us praying? Absolutely. Let's go boldly to the throne room of grace right now. Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much. We thank you that you listen to us, that you hear our cries, that you hear our prayers, and that right now we just declare and have faith that you are always answering us. It might not look like what we want or in the timing that we want, but you always hear us and you always answer. And so today, God, we just lift up anyone who's struggling financially, anyone who's struggling with their marriage, uh, family relationships, anyone who has had a cancer diagnosis, something physical. God, we just speak healing to their bodies, to their minds, to their hearts, to those relationships. In the name of Jesus, God, we just declare your goodness and your mercy and we believe that you have the answer and the answer is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Andrew. Someone dealing with a professional setback, I don't know if it's a termination of a job or a job you didn't get that you sought after. And I just feel like the Lord has something greater in store for you. I just hear new territory, new, great expanded territory that there is a reason for this delay. And 
Lord, we just put our hope in you for this one professionally. Thank you for revealing your plan in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I just feel like somebody's watching and you are unmarried, you're single, and you're just really wrestling with God about this. You're wondering why God has not sent you your spouse. And God is just saying, just be patient, my dear one. I have not forgotten you. I have a promise of a purpose and an amazing life for you. This season where you don't have your spouse is one where it's just you and me. So come closer to the Father today. He's got amazing things in store for you. This season is not being wasted. Enjoy it with the Lord Jesus. Just receive that word from him right now. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that you desire relationship with us, friendship with us, intimacy with us. That you are our Father and love us and are faithful and desire us to bring all we are to you, all our concerns, our needs, and our praise. Lord, we thank you for being with us in Jesus' name, amen. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.